Hi everyone, good morning. Today I woke up in the morning and was happy to discover that May Day is here. So Isabel told me about this and I was quite excited. I knew that something great is waiting for me. And, uh, but I already read it on the internet uh, and I knew about the island with a maze. So it wasn't kind of a huge surprise. Still, I haven't seen it. I don't know how it looks like, what the event is all about. Just some uh, basic information about the maze and you get rewarded for something. Now once Isabel's announcement is finished, you need to head on to uh, Nook and talk to him. We'll tell you more information about this day and also we'll give you a ticket uh, which you can use uh, at the airport once you get to the airport. Uh, it will be waiting for you and you can use it to fly to this special island. Nook will explain to you that this day is celebrated uh, you know, kinds of work day uh, to uh, grad uh, express their gratitude for those who actually work hard. And of course, we all work hard in order to make our island beautiful. So for what I've seen and tried, this is just one ticket. So make sure you enjoy this experience to the fullest. Um, so let's jump into it and see what's waiting for us on this island. Oh, one last thing. Make sure you use the ticket until the 7th. Uh, it's going to wait you at the airport counter. Uh, because if not, probably the event will be over and you won't be able to use it. Now, once you get to the airport... Um, uh, the ticket will be there, you talk to Orville, it will give you the ticket and you will be able to have an option uh, to choose to use your Mayday ticket in one of the menu options, uh, which of course uh, will initiate a flight to that specific island. So you choose I want to fly, and then it says made, you have a Mayday ticket, and then you also need to click again that you want to use it. Use Mayday ticket. Now next, I will explain to you what this island is all about, and basically it's a maze. Some websites say it's a huge maze, it's not huge, it's actually very small. So, what you need to do is to navigate yourself from the starting point to the end point, and you do this by solving different puzzles. But these puzzles you're already familiar with because they involve things uh, using uh, crafting things, using tools, eating fruits. Uh, so the idea is that you use uh, what you basically know using the basic uh, uh, tools, operations, and uh, some of the other mecha basic mechanics in order to navigate your way through the maze. Now keep in mind that uh, my maze might be different from yours, uh, because I read it actually after finishing this that uh, uh, mazes are different, so probably designed a few of those, like designed these three others that are different, so probably there are different variations. Uh, I don't know how many, uh, so what you see might be different from your uh, maze, so even if you see me and you know how to do this, uh, it probably won't help you out. Anyway, uh, it's not that hard, <laughs> so uh, I mean maybe mine was easy and yours will be hard, I don't know, I haven't tried yours, I will try mine. Uh, but as you can see, uh, I already, when I landed, I knew that I need to kind of navigate and use things. You see the orange there and uh, other box there. And there are some, uh, all the other elements we're used to craft things and use things in order to, uh, uh, you know, uh, deal with things in our own island, like cutting trees, uh, removing them, etc. So here, of course, I need to remove this tree. This is the first thing that blocks me to enter. So I need to eat an orange. And this allows me to actually get from my superpowers and use the shovel in order to uh, uh, move on. By the way, keep in mind that all your belongings will stay at the airport. You won't get your belongings at all. Uh, you're going to come here uh, absolutely with nothing. And uh, of course, you can won't take advantage of all the current tools that you already have. Uh, I realized that uh, eventually this main area of the three points, this is actually the, the one that actually main navigation. It allows me to navigate uh, to uh, the other areas uh, if I want to just cross them horizontally or go to the middle one vertically. Uh, it took me uh, just uh, a, f a few minutes you know, to understand this, uh, but eventually I was able to do so. And this is uh, part of the fun, you know, uh, being able to, you know, it's a bit tricky, uh, slightly challenging, but not too much. Uh, but that's that's a part of the fun, try to discover things out. Now if you look before, there are some bell vouchers also waiting for you, uh, which you can later use. They're going to be sent to you uh, to your mail uh, the next day. And you see there's a character there uh, at the end uh, waiting for you. This is actually the end point you need to get there uh, in order to... By the way, if you want to come here, you actually need to go to finish the maze and go to the beach. And then you need to take out all those three stones. Uh, and to do this, you need to uh, plan carefully, actually just finish it without taking those. 
By the way, I wish there was a timer so maybe there was kind of a speed run and a leaderboard to see how fast uh, certain mazes are finished. So you have like five of them and people are all over the world actually competing and doing it fast. I think a first one uh, with the timer it could be something really cool. Uh, but of course you can't bring your timer and there's no official timer here. But this is something that I think kind of a miss. I don't know. I think this would be really really cool because then it's kind of have a... Uh, you can repeat it and actually enjoy repeating it until you get a better and better time and see which of your friends actually how they are doing. Uh, but it's probably better to have uh, you know the same maze for this. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I think this can be improved in some way. Now, lot, like the other activities in Animal Crossing New Rising, it's a relaxing experience, it's fun, you know, so, and I think it's actually a very good idea. You know, first of all, what I'm gonna do is just gonna put a maze and I need to navigate through it. I don't think so, it's gonna be probably too easy, right? Uh, or not that interesting. So actually, it is something nice, you know, use the utilities in order to navigate, it's pretty cool, I think. Now, in this particular case, of course, I can take the rock out uh, by eating one fruit and use the shovel, I don't need the axe for this. And I can just displace it uh, and uh, move on to this section where I get a golden nugget. I could go to the nugget, sorry, an iron nugget. And this iron nugget uh, is actually useful in a DIY bench, which actually located in on the other side of the maze. And there I can, uh, I will find through by going through and we find some uh, DIY recipes, uh, which I can craft an axe. And this axe will be used in order to take those three trees down and continue on uh, to the exit. So here again, I'm eating another fruit uh, and I can use my shovel, of course. I get in, I get the fruit, I get the tea, uh, two DIY recipes very close to the workbench. Uh, now I need to uh, displace this tree as well because I need to get inside. And just checking out so you have two of them so you can actually craft the flimsy and then the axe you need the, I know the axe you know the, uh, because it has a uh, better durability and of course you know this already if you play the game now here I can actually craft uh, uh, because I have all the materials to craft the flimsy and the axe and have it ready for you know for the next uh, part at the top of the maze Anyway, I'm going to skip this uh, long part of crafting, so I crafted the axe, I was happy, no need to craft anything else, uh, and I just headed uh, back to the uh, three trees. For this, I actually need to go to the middle, which is covered in intersection, uh, um, uh, sorry, I need to go to the uh, first one, which is kind of an intersection, we change the angle so we can actually move uh, horizontally towards uh, the location at the top. So those three spots are actually very important there in terms of navigation. So I'm cutting down all the three trees and the chopped area I'm going to sit on it and uh, just rotate and uh, move through to the next one and next one until I reach the end. Again, the maze itself uh, is not complicated, maybe it make you think uh, once or twice, but not once you realize the, uh, the area where it actually allows you to navigate uh, to the top area, it's very easy, uh, but maybe it's different from yours, I don't know, I haven't tried, I wish I could. Uh, here I'm just uh, getting those uh, flowers, which are actually uh, gonna uh, breed later on, on the way. I mean, why not? And I'm gonna talk uh, uh, with the last character, uh, with the last character, with the character, <laughs> this character, uh, in order to uh, finish the activity. And this is Rover. <laughs> So it's always nice to meet a new character, it doesn't matter which one it is, uh, because of course when you are on the island, limited amount of uh, villagers, it's really nice to meet yet another character. And this game continues to do this, uh, for example with CJ, uh, with Fleek, Sahara, all those that are actually coming visiting you. So you're not getting kind of uh, bored having the same uh, villagers. And of course, you can also rotate them. Some will leave and you're going to invite other ones. And some will appear at the camp. So it's always kind of, that's why they made so many characters. So they, they know this game is built around uh, meeting new characters, rotations. So you can actually 
meet them and all the personality uh, of course decide which one actually you want to stay and spend your time with regularly on your island so maybe there are more is more to it i don't know uh i actually got to the point that i read that there's more no more to it and this is actually the may day event uh but there is an option to reset it uh, and try it again. Uh, I think you need to do the core rescue or something. You can reset it uh, and try it from the beginning. Uh, I didn't try it. Uh, I don't think you're going to get extra reward for this. Uh, by the way, the rewards that you get at the end, we're going to mail to you. And once you get back to the airport, you're going to get all your belonging belongings back. Those you actually left behind before you enter the maze, the maze island. So this is it. Uh, I really wanted more to be honest because it's such a great idea and uh, maybe it was something with uh, increased difficulty. You know, something that uh, more uh, can repeat this uh, really cool experience, uh, make it more challenging or even bigger mazes. Anyway, uh, maybe there is more to it. If you know, please let me know in the comment section. Maybe I missed something. Uh, and this is the media event. Uh, this was a fun experience, but a bit underwhelming. I was expecting a bit something more. Uh, and that's it. Again, maybe I'm missing something. Okay, again, thanks for watching uh, this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you soon on the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye bye. Cheers.